This was brought to you by Roger Hansen, Gaming with Infamous, on YouTube, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Franklin County Internet Society on Facebook. Cloak, Foresters, woven from several pieces of green and brown canvas, these large ponchos aid anyone trying to hide in a forest environment. The carefully chosen colors blend in with the vege vegetation and their ponchos lose shape. Loose shape obscures the humanoid form. Forester's cloaks provide a plus one circumstance bonus on hide checks made in a forest. Crossbow Sight No. This device comes in two parts. An eyepiece that attaches to the stop of the crossbow and a sight that is affixed to the end of the weapon. When calibrated properly, the sights allow the user to focus more carefully on a target. The user treat the, the the use treats targets as if they are two range increments closer. It has no effect on targets within the first two range increments. Listening cone. This device is made for listening through doors and other solid surfaces. It grants a plus two circumstance bonus to on listen checks made through a door or other relatively thin solid obstacle. Pack framed. This pack distributes weight better than normal packs, allowing creatures to carry slightly more than they otherwise would. However, it is harder to reach into a frame pack while wearing it. When calculating in encumbrance for a character with a frame pack, treat the pack and everything inside it as, as weighing 10% less than normal. Retrieving anything from the frame pack is a full round action that provokes an attack of opportunity. Ropes Desert These loot these light colored robes offer some protection against the effect of heat and provides a plus two circumstance bonus on fortitude saving throws against exposure to high temperatures. Desert robes are <laughs> offer no protection against either Mundance or, or mundane or magical fire. Sheath boot. A boot sheath is easily concealed, making it useful. Making it useful for those who want to appear unarmed. Boot sheets. sheaths can hold only small or tiny related weapons. Characters attempting to conceal an item in a boot sheath gain a plus four bonus on their pickpocket check, opposed by either spot or search depending on the situation. 
If the character using the boot sheath, sheath does not have racks in pickpocket, or ranks in pickpocket, noticing the boot sheath requires a successful spot and search check DC 10. Sheath wrist. The sheath fits along the inside of the forearm, allowing weapons stored inside it to be drawn quickly. The wrist sheath can hold one tiny weapon, such as a dagger or one wand. Weapons are usually no of usual shape like a bladed gauntlet do not fit into a wrist sheath regardless of their size. Drawing or replacing the contents of a wrist shape sheath is a Mo equivalent action. Action. Poison. A surreptitious dose of poison can bring an enemy down without the risk of a prolonged battle. Assuring, no, no, assassins routinely make use of poisonous concoctions and even some rogues and bards are willing to to accept the risk involved in using such substances. But persons are not always readily available, but poisons are not always readily available, even when they are legal. Purchase often brings unwelcome scrutiny, thus it behooves those who make frequent use of poisons to brew their own. Refining raw materials into effective poisons require both patience and care. The subcategory of the craft skill craft poison making provides the necessary expertise. DCs to create usual poisons from the substances described in chapter 3 of the Dungeon Master's Guide are given in Table 2-7. Poisons below. Making poisons with the craft poison making skill follows the rules of the player's handbook for making items with the craft skill, with the following exceptions. 1. The cost of raw material varies widely depending on whether the character has access to the active ingredient, that is, the venom or plant that actually provides the poison. If a supply is readily available, the raw material costs one-sixth of the market price, not one-third. Otherwise, the raw material cost at, costs at least three-quarters of the market price, assuming that the substance in question is for sale at all. 2. Each week's work is the check result X, the DC to, the, to create to create it in 
gold pieces, not silver pieces. The rogue making a purple worm poison, for example, would complete 400 gold pieces worth of the substance in a week's time but a check result of 20 because the DC to create it is also 20. <clears throat> the following table combines 30 new poisons for use in your campaign with those presented in the Dungeon Master's Guide. See Poison in Chapter 3 of the Dungeon Master's Guide for more information on how poisons work. Type The, poison, the poison's method of deli delivery ingested, inhaled via an injury or contract and the DC needed to save. Initial damage. The damage the character takes immediately upon failing his saving throw against this type of poison. Ability score damage is temporary unless marked with an asterisk. In which case, the loss is a permanent drain instead of temporary damage. Paralysis lasts for 2 dice 6 minutes unless otherwise noted. Temporary ability score increases last 1 die 10 minutes. Second damage. The amount of damage the character takes 1 minute after exposure as a result of the poison. If he fails a second saving throw, special conditions caused by specific poisons are described below. Loss marked with an asterisk is permanent drain instead of temporary damage. Unconscious lasts for one die three hours. Craft DC. The DC for the craft poison making. Check to create the poison. Price. The cost of one dose, one vial of the poison. It is not possible to use or apply poison in any quantity smaller than one dose. The purchase and Possession of poison is always illegal, and even in large cities, it can only be obtained from specialized, less than reputable sources. Trap CR Modifier If you're designing a trap yourself, Modify its challenge rating by this amount to account for the poison. Only injury, contact, and inhaled poisons are suitable for traps. New Poisons Some poisons described in Table 2-7 Poisons have special effects described below. Aboleth Oil Transformation takes 1 die 4 plus 1 minutes. A transformed creature must remain moistened with cool, fresh water or take 1 die 12 points of damage every 10 minutes. See the Aboleth entry in the Monster Manual for more information about the transformation. Alforna Fatigue caused by the secondary effect of Alforna is treated normally. Grey Winnis 
paralysis caused by the secondary effect of gray winnis lasts for one die six x ten minutes. Lockjaw. Characters afflicted by lockjaw can't speak or use spells with somatic components. Scorcher fumes. Creatures affected by scorcher fumes lose this, their the scent ability if they had it for one die x ten minutes. Fever fumes. The blunt the blindness caused by fever fumes is permanent unless removed by cure blindness or similar magic. Fever paste. The blindness caused by fever paste is permanent unless removed by cure blindness or similar magic. If fever paste is heated, fever fumes are the result. The two poisons are derived from the same base component. Table 2-7 Poisons Poison California Type Injury DC 11 Initial damage 1 die 2 strength Secondary damage fatigue Craft DC 15 Price 7 gold pieces Trap CR modifier plus 1 Poison Banalar Essence Type Injury DC 11 Initial damage 2 die 4 Constitution Secondary, secondary damage unconscious craft DC 15 price 300 gold pieces trap CR modifier plus 2 poison black adder venom type injury DC 12 initial damage 0 secondary Damage, 1 die 6 strength, craft DC, 15, price, 120 gold pieces, <clears throat> trap CR modifier, plus 1, poison, blood root, type injury DC, 12, Initial damage, zero. Secondary damage, one die four constitution plus one die three wisdom. Cost DC 15, price 100 gold pieces. Type, or trap CR modifier plus one. Poison, Chodrith Toxin, Type Injury DC 15, Initial Damage Paralysis, Secondary Damage 2 Dies 4, Constitution, Cost DC 15, Price 100 gold piece 120 gold pieces trap C R modifier plus three poison death blade type injury DC twenty Initial constitution or initial damage one die six constitution secondary damage 
two die six constitution craft DC twenty five price one thousand eight hundred gold pieces type of type you know, trap C R modifier plus five no plus three Poison, Fang, Dragon, Venom, Injury, DC, 15, or Type, Injury, DC, 15, Initial Damage, 1, Constitution, with, it, with an asterisk, Secondary, Damage, 0, Craft, DC 20, price 300 gold pieces, type CR, or trap CR modifier, plus 2. Poison, giant wasp poison. Type injury DC 18, initial damage 1 die 6, dexterity, secondary damage 1 die 6, dexterity, craft DC 20, price 3, no, 200 and Ten gold pieces. Trap C R modifier plus three. Poison Gray Winnis. Type injury D C twenty. Initial damage one die four. Constitution. Secondary. Damage, Paralysis, Craft DC, 20, Cost, 3,000 Gold Pieces, Trap CR, Modifier, Trap CR, Modifier, Plus 4, Poison, Green blood oil type injury DC 13 initial damage 1 constitution secondary damage 1 die 2 constitution crack DC 15 cost 100 gold pieces trap CR modifier plus one. Poison. Halo root. Type. Injury DC 13. Initial damage. One die two. Wisdom. Secondary damage. To wisdom, craft DC 15, cost 150 gold pieces, trap CR modifier plus one. Poison, large scorpion, scorpion venom type, injury DC 18. Initial damage, 1 die 6 strength. Secondary damage, 1 die 6 strength. Craft DC 20, cost 200 gold pieces. Trap CR. Trap CR modifier, plus plus three. 
poison, medium size spider pen, venom, type injury DC 14, initial damage, one die four strength, secondary damage, one die six strength. Craft DC 15, cost 150 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus 2. Poison, purple worm poison. Type injury DC 24. Initial damage, 1 die 6 strength. Secondary damage, 1 die 6 strength. Craft DC. 20. Cost 700 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier. Plus 4. Poison, Reddick Vine Extract, Type Injury DC 17, Initial Damage 2 die 6 Dexterity, Secondary Damage 0, Craft DC 25, Cost 1500 Gold Pieces, Trap CR Modifier plus 5. Poison, real leaf. Type injury DC 14. Initial damage 1 die 2. Charisma. Secondary damage 1 die 4. Charisma. Craft DC. 15. Cost 120 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus 3. Poison Shadow Essence. Type injury DC 17. Initial damage 1 strength with an asterisk. Secondary damage is 2 die 6 strength craft DC 20 cost 250 gold pieces trap CR modifier plus 1 Plus three. Poison. Shreef oil. Type injury DC 12. Initial damage one die two strength plus one die two dexterity. Secondary damage. 1 die 2 strength crap DC 15 cost 100 gold pieces trap CR modifier plus 1 poison small centipede poison type injury DC 11 initial damage 1 die 2 dexterity Secondary damage, 1 die 2 dexterity. Crap DC 15. Cost 90 gold pieces. Crap CR modifier plus 1. <coughs> 
poison. Pippid leaf <coughs> extract. <coughs> Type injury DC 16. Initial damage dazed euphoric. Secondary damage 2 die 6. Initiation or initiative. Crap DC. 20 cost 250 gold pieces trap CR modifier plus 5 poison wavering leaf extract Poison, DC, or type, injury, DC, 17. Initial damage, damage, 2 die 6, constitution, secondary damage, 2 die 6, constitution, crap, DC 25 cost 3,000 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus 5. Poison. Adalith oil. Type contact DC 19. Initial damage 0. Secondary damage transform cost DC thirty crap DC thirty cost two thousand five hundred gold pieces trap the CR modifier plus three poison animus type contact DC 16 initial damage 1 die 4 strength secondary damage 2 die 4 strength craft DC 20 cost 750 gold pieces trap CR modifier plus 5 poison black lotus extract type contact DC 20 Initial damage, 3 die 6, constitution, secondary damage, 3 die 6, constitution, craft DC, 35, cost 4,500 gold pieces, trap. CR modifier plus 8. And that's for black lotus extract. Poison carry on crawler brain juice. Type contact DC 13. Initial damage paralysis. Secondary damage 0. Craft DC 15 cost 200 gold pieces. Track CR modifiers plus 100. Poison crippling vine. Type contact DC 13. 
initial damage, one die for strength, plus one die for const uh, constitution, or uh, secondary damage, zero. Craft DC 15, cost 180 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus 3. Poison Dragon Bile. Type contact DC 26, initial damage 3 die 6, strength, secondary damage 0. Craft <laughs> DC 30, cost 1500 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier. Plus three. Wait, plus six. Poison for weed extract. Type contact DC 20. Initial damage one wisdom. Secondary damage two die four wisdom. Cla craft. DC 25 cost 600 gold pieces trap CR modifier plus 6 that's for oral weed extract no that's for dragon pile no that that's That's for oral weed extract, yeah. Malice root paste. Type contact DC 16. Initial damage 1 dexterity. Secondary damage is 2 die 6 dexterity. Crap DC 20. 500 gold pieces trap CR modifier plus 3 mesmer pe uh, poison mesmer paste type contact DC 15 initial damage dazzled secondary damage 1 die 4 intelligence Craft DC 20 Cost 300 gold pieces Trap CR modifier plus 4 Nick Herrick Poison Nick Herrick Type Contact DC 13 Initial damage 0, secondary damage 3 die 6, constitution. Prep DC 20, cost 650 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus 4. Netheric. Net, net Poison Type Contact DC 13 Initial Damage 0 Secondary Damage 3 die 6 Constitution Prep DC 20 
cost 650 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus 4. Poison Assassin Leaf Residue Type Contact BC 16. Initial damage 2 die 12 hit points. Secondary damage 1 die 6 constitution. Craft DC 20. Cost 300 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus 3. Poison sleeping lead. Type contact DC 13. Initial damage slowed. Secondary damage 1 die 4 dexterity. Cost DC. Fifteen cost five hundred and five hundred gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus two. Poison Terranav root type contact DC sixteen. Initial damage 1 die 6 dexterity, secondary damage 2 die 6 dexterity. Craft DC 25, cost 750 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus 5. Poison Bever based. Type contact DC 12, initial damage 0, second secondary damage, blindness, cost DC 25, no, crap DC 25, cost 1500 gold pieces, trap. CR modifier plus 2. Poison. Wraith Sheen. Type contact DC 16. Initial damage 1 die 2 constitution. Secondary damage 1 die 2 constitution. Craft DC 15. Cost 150 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus 3. Poison Adelavan Extract. Type Ingested DC 14. Initial damage 1 die 4 wisdom. Secondary damage 2 die 6 wisdom. Craft DC 20. Cost 150 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier slash. Poison arsenic. Type ingested DC 13. Initial damage 1 constitution, secondary damage 1 die 8 constitution, craft DC 20, poison out of an extract, type ingested DC 14. Initial damage 1 die 4 wisdom. Gain plus two constitution bonus. Secondary damage is two die six wisdom. Craft DC twenty cost one hundred fifty gold pieces and trap. 
CR modifier slash. Okay, now we go to arsenic, poison, arsenic, type ingested DC 13, initial damage, one constitution, secondary damage, one die, eight constitution, craft DC, 15 cost 120 gold pieces trap CR modifier slash poison curtail leaf residue type ingested DC 14 Initial damage, one die four constitution, gain plus two dex bonus. Secondary damage is one die six constitution. Craft DC is 20. Cost 150 gold pieces, trap CR modifier slash. Column powder, no poison column powder, type ingested DC 12. Initial damage, one dexterity, secondary damage, one die four dexterity. Craft DC 15 cost 100 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier slash. Poison Dark Reaver powder. Type ingested DC 18. Initial damage 2 die 6 constitution. Secondary damage. 1 die 6 constitution plus 1 die 6 strength. <clears throat> Craft DC 25. Cost 300 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier slash. Poison barrel type ingested DC 14. Initial damage, 1 die 6 dexterity, gain, plus 2 strength and bonus. Secondary damage, 1 die 6 constitution, craft DC 20, cost 150 gold pieces, trap CR modifier slash. Poison ID Moss, Dead Moss, Type Ingested DC 14, Initial Damage 1 die 4, Intelligence, Secondary Damage 2 die 6, Intelligence, Craft DC. 15, cost 125 gold pieces, trap, CR modifier, slash, lich dust, type poison, lich dust, type ingested, DC 17, initial damage, 2 to 6, strength, secondary damage, 1 die 6 strength. Craft DC 20. Cost 250 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier slash. Poison lockjaw. Type ingested DC 11. Initial damage can't speak. Secondary damage is 2 die 6 constitution. Craft 
DC 15, cost 250 gold pieces, trap CR modifier slash poison oil of tagging type ingested DC 15, initial damage 0, secondary damage unconscious, craft DC 15, cost 90 gold pieces, trap CR modifier slash poison wretch type ingested DC 15, initial damage nausea, secondary damage 1 die 4 constitution, craft DC 15, cost 120 gold pieces, trapped CR, trap CR modifier slash poison strike toadstool type ingested DC 11, initial damage 1 wisdom, secondary damage, 2 die 6 wisdom, plus 1 die 4 intelligence, craft DC 15, cost 180 gold pieces, trap CR modifier slash, poison, asabi mist, type inhaled DC 12, initial damage 1 die 4 constitution, secondary damage 1 die 4 constitution, craft DC 20, cost 1000 gold pieces, trap CR modifier plus 3. Poison. Brain Dust, Tyke Inhaled, DC 12, Initial Damage, Confused, Secondary Damage, 1 die 6, Wisdom, Craft, DC 20, Cost 1,300 Gold Pieces, Trap, CR, Modifier, Plus 2, Poison, burnt, other fumes, type inhaled, DC 18, initial damage, 1 constitution with an asterisk, secondary damage, 3 die 6 constitution, craft DC, 25, Cost 2100 gold pieces, trap CR modifier plus 6. Cost 2100 gold pieces, and then okay. Then, uh, uh, trap CR modifiers plus six. Poison Insanity Mist Type Inhaled BC 15. Initial damage 1 die 6 wisdom. Secondary damage 1 die 6 wisdom. Cost DC 20 or craft DC 20 cost 1500 gold pieces trap 
Let's see, our modifier plus four. Poison, realist, smoke, type, inhaled, DC 15, initial damage, one die six, charisma, secondary damage, one die six, charisma, craft, DC 25, cost 2000 gold pieces, trap, CR modifier, plus six. Poison, Rashawn, Vapor, Type, Inhaled, DC 15, Initial Damage, 1 die 4, Intelligence, Secondary Damage, 1 die 6, Dexterity, plus 1 Dexterity with an Asterisk, Craft, DC 25, Cost 3,100 gold pieces. Trap. CR modifier plus 4. Poison. Scorcher fumes. Type inhaled. DC 18. Initial damage. Lose scent. Secondary damage. 1 die 4 wisdom, craft DC 20, cost 800 gold pieces, trap CR modifier plus 4. Poison feather fumes, type inhaled DC 18, initial damage 0. Secondary damage blindness. Craft DC 35. Cost 3000 gold pieces. Trap CR modifier plus 4. Poison Ungul Dust. Type inhaled DC 15. Initial damage, 1 Charisma, secondary damage, 1 die 6 Charisma, plus 1 Charisma with an asterisk. Craft, DC, DC 20, cost 1000 gold pieces, trap, CR modifier, plus Trade goods. On a peaceful day, the adventurers spot a distant merchant caravan on the road ahead of them. They see just another piece of setting, a detail that adds realism to the campaign world, but one that doesn't impact the heroes or their mission. Another time, the adventurers spot a caravan on the same road, this time engaged in a running battle with a pair of manticores. When the combatants crash through the caravan, the DM needs to know what's in the wagon, what it's worth and what kind of guards are protecting the trade goods. The value of a merchant caravan or a shop's in inventory becomes even more important should the PCs actually come to possess it. Valuable goods must have powerful guards and if the party comes into conflict over the contents of the caravan or shop, the value of the goods 
acquired to correspond to the difficulty of the encounter. The simple principle might be the only detail needed in most campaigns. Merchants exist, but their activities remain undefined. It's assumed that the general pop populace of the campaign world goes about its business and keeps peace at the level described in the player handbook and dungeon master's guide. Some campaigns, however, benefit from a more detailed approach to economic systems. Economic systems. Designing a constant campaign requires at least a nod of economics, even if that nod includes nothing but a decision to follow the pricing structure of the four books with no variation. The economics section in chapter 6 of the Dungeon Master Guide provides some basic precepts to keep in mind when designing a world, but DMs seeking to answer more detailed questions must create specific pricing structures for their campaign settings. Flushing out a campaign's economic system need not be a complex or even time-consuming task. There are three possible approaches to designing an economic system. Leave it totally undefined. Define the different portions of the economy only as the characters interact with them. Or defi define everything in detail in advance. Leaving economic conditions undefined within a campaign world allows the DM to change conditions rapidly should the campaign warrant it but it sacrifices the verisimilitude of a more defined pricing structure. By far the most common approach is defined only the portions of the economic situation that the PCs are likely to encounter. This requires some work from the dungeon master, but not the heavy upfront load of def defining the entire economic system. De detailing the entire system of economic detail Detailing the entire system of economic conditions within the campaign world provides the greatest sense of consistency, but it also requires the most effort. Detailing a complex economy is beyond the scope of most campaigns, but simulating one is not. By applying and recording a small set of economic conditions, the DM can easily keep track of the large economic forces, trade patterns from areas of oversupply to areas of higher demand emerge with just a little preparation. For each region, Simply set and track a price modifier for each type of good. Price adjustments and their meanings are as follows. Commodity demand. Oversupply. Availability always. Cost adjustment negative 20%. Commodity demand, surplus, 
availability always. Cost adjustment negative 10%. Commodity <clears throat> demand normal. Availability normal. Cost adjustment plus 0% to negative 10%. Commodity demand Undersupplied, availability, almost always, cost adjustment, plus 10%. Commodity demand, sought, availability, almost always, cost adjustment, plus 20%. Commodity demand, Popular, availability, sometimes, cost adjustment, plus 30% to 40%. Commodity demand, needed, availability, sometimes, cost adjustment, plus 50%. Commodity demand, Desperate, availability, black market, cost adjustment, plus 100%. Oversupplied. This area predict, the area predict, oversupplied. The area produces this commodity year round or very cheaply and likely exports it to other areas. Surplus. The, the area produces this commodity seasonally or is nearly a major source of production. Merchants often buy the commodity here and transport it to higher demand areas. Normal. Prices are as given in this book and in the player handbook. The commodity is likely produced and consumed in the area. Undersupplied. The area produces the commodity but cannot meet its own needs. Merchants transport the commodity from nearby areas to sell here. Salt. The commodity is either not produced locally or an unusual need exists. Merchants rush to bring the commodity to the area. Popular. The commodity is currently needed or very fashionable. Merchants with large supplies of the commodity become very rich. Needed. The commodity is a great it is in great demand, and even the rich might not have enough. Large cities experience this condition most often when short of food due to environmental hazards. Merchants travel great distances to bring the commodity to the area. Desperate. Food in times of famine. Medicine in times of plague. Weapons in times of war. There is great need and no supply. Those who ac access to even small quantities of the commodity name their own price, provided they can protect their supply from those trying to steal or capture it. This condition arises most often when a government seizes all of one type of commodity in order for this condition to arise. Typical merchants must be able to bring the commodity to the area. Traffic in the commodity is the 
province of smugglers or individuals with powerful magical aid. Since some commodities fall under the normal category, the DM need only know areas of great surplus and great demand. The, the trade patterns and economic conditions that emerge from these simple labels make a great backdrop to the campaign, especially when the adventurer's actions begin to affect the conditions of the large areas. Goods versus Commodities, commodities. The key difference between goods and commodities is their selling price. A commodity in this sense is a valuable good is is a valuable good that can be easily exchanged almost as if it were cash itself. Wheat, flour, cloth, and precious metals are commodities and merchants often trade in them directly without using currency. See Table 7-3, Trade Goods, in Chapter 7 of the Player Handbook. Obviously, merchants can sell these goods for slightly more than they pay for them, but the difference is small enough that you don't have to worry about it. Merchant Wealth levels. Apart from a campaign overall economic conditions, a campaign's overall economic conditions, the resources of individual merchants occasionally become important to the adventure. While the vast majority of the player characters' interactions with merchants need not take much time or attention, there will be times when more detail about a merchant's resources are important. In addition to their individual resources, merchants must work with the goods they have on hand. Table 2A Communities Community Size Thorpe Population 20 through 80 GP Limit 40 Merchant Wealth 100 Traveling Wealth 100 EL 1 Traveling Encounter War 1 times two. Community size. Hamlet. Population 81 to 400. GP 100. Merchant wealth 200. Traveling wealth 200. EL 1. Traveling encounter war 1 times two. Community size, village, population 401 to 900, GP limit 200, merchant wealth 400, traveling wealth 400, EL1, traveling encounter 401 times 2. Community size, small town. 900, population 901 to 2000, GP limit 800, merchant wealth 1600, traveling wealth 1000, EL4, traveling encounter FTR1, or 1 times 3. 
community size. Large town. Population 2001 to 5000. GP limit 3000. Merchant wealth 6000. Traveling wealth 3000. ELA 8. Traveling encounter FTR 6 times 2. War 4 times 7, War 2 times 12. No, FTR 4, War 2, War 1 times 9. Community size, small city, 5,000, or population 5,001 to 12,000. GP limit fifteen thousand merchant wealth thirty thousand traveling wealth ten thousand EL twelve traveling encounter FTR eight FTR six times two AD, ADP six times two War 4 times 10, War 2 times 12. Community size, Metropolis. Population, 25,000 plus. GP limit, 1,000. Merchant wealth, 2,000. Traveling wealth 50,000, EL 18, Traveling Encounter, FTR 8, FTR 6 times 4, ADP 6 times 4, War 4 times 14, War 2 times 24. In the Dungeons and Dragons game, this means that their purchases and goods for sale are limited by the size of the community in which they operate. Simply put the value of the traveling merchant's caravan on a stationary merchant's inventory. Caravan or a stationary merchant's inventory cannot exceed twice the GP limit of the community. Gold piece limits, as defined by the Dungeon Master's Guide, represent the maximum value of any one item for sale in the community. Since these gauge the relative wealth of a community not its total resources, doubling the GP limit makes an easy and simple measure of an individual merchant's resources. Some merchants have the most valuable items in the community for sale, but such goods represent a significant portion of that merchant's resources. Likewise, the value of a good of the value of goods that a merchant can sell in any one community cannot be greater than that community's GP limit. Gold piece limits based on community size can be found in Table 4, 40, Random Town Generation in Chapter 4 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. When designing the contents of a caravan or merchant's shop, the Dungeon Master must also consider the wealth limits placed on NPCs according to their level. 
Table 2 through 44. NPCs, Gear, Bayou, and Chapter 2 of the Dungeon Master's Guide gives NPC Gear Value by Level. Table 2A, Communities below is an easy reference comparing a community's population to the value of the merchant's goods and encounter level of treasure represented by the merchant's goods and the standard array of guards that protect the goods. Traveling merchants must for the most part arrange to protect their own goods. The stationary, stationary businesses and merchants traveling in well defended areas will have little protection of their own. In these situations, the DM must ensure that the local peacekeepers are a defensive force equal to the EL of standard dungeon encounters. Merchant Wealth The maximum net worth of a merchant's inventory in a community. This represents the contents of one shop. For traveling merchants, this represents the total value of transported trade goods and holdings in the home community. Trade goods and holdings in the home community. Traveling merchants use the value of their community of origin. Traveling wealth. The maximum value of trade good trade goods transported by one merchant out of a specific community. Few merchants transport the maximum value of goods. EL the counter level commensurate with the value of the transported goods. Traveling encounter. A typical contingent of guards in an uncivilized area. This is often reduced in safe areas. Table 2-9 Commodities. Commodity. Alchemical material. Unusual. Unit size 1 ounce. Unit cost 1 silver piece to 1 gold piece. Commodity. Alchemical material. Rare. Unit size 1 ounce. Unit cost 2 gold pieces to 10 gold pieces. Commodity, alchemical material, exotic, unit size 1 ounce, cost 11 gold pieces to 25 plus gold pieces. Commodity, arcane material, rare, unit size 3 pounds, unit cost 1 gold piece to 5 gold pieces. Commodity, arcane material, exotic, unit size 1 ounce, unit cost 6 gold pieces to 25 gold pieces. Commodity, arcane material, unique, unit size 1 ounce, unit cost 25 gold pieces to 100 plus gold pieces. Commodity, Cosmetics Common Unit size 1 ounce Unit cost 1 copper piece to 1 silver piece Commodity Cosmetics Unusual Unit size 
one ounce. Unit costs two silver pieces to one gold piece. Commodity. Cosmetics rare. Unit size one ounce. Unit costs two gold pieces to ten gold pieces. Commodity. Cosmetics exotic. Unit size one pound one ounce. Unit cost eleven gold pieces to twenty-five plus gold pieces. Commodity. Dried goods. Common. Unit size one pound. Unit cost one silver piece to five silver pieces. Commodity. Dried goods. Unusual. Unit size one pound. Unit cost six silver pieces to fifteen silver pieces. Commodity dry goods rare. Unit size one pound. Unit cost fifteen silver pieces to twenty five plus silver pieces. Commodity fabric common. Unit size fifty pounds. Unit cost one silver piece to one gold piece. Commodity fabric fine. Unit size 50 pounds. Unit cost 2 gold pieces to 10 gold pieces. Commodity fabric unusual. Unit size 50 pounds. Unit cost 100 gold pieces to 25 gold pieces. Commodity fabric exotic. Unit size 50 pounds. Unit cost 26 gold pieces to 50 plus gold pieces. Commodity furniture plain. Unit size 20 pounds. Unit cost 1 gold piece to 5 gold pieces. Commodity furniture fine. Unit size 20 pounds. Unit cost 2 gold pieces to 15 gold pieces. Commodity furniture exotic. Unit size 20 pounds. Unit cost 15 gold pieces to 25 plus gold pieces. Commodity furs and hides common. Unit size 20 pounds. Co units cost 1 gold piece to 5 gold pieces. Commodity furs and hides unusual. Unit size 20 pounds. Unit cost 6 gold pieces to 10 gold pieces. Commodity furs and hides rare. Unit size 20 pounds. Unit cost 11 gold pieces, 20 gold pieces. Commodity furs and hides, exotic. Unit size 20 pounds. Unit cost 21 gold pieces to 50 gold pieces. Commodity furs, furs and hides, monstrous. Unit size 20 pounds. Unit cost 51 gold pieces to 200 plus gold pieces. Commodity lumber. Local. Unit size 50 pounds. Unit cost 1 gold piece to 10 gold pieces. Commodity lumber unusual. Unit size 50 pounds. Unit cost 11 gold pieces to 25 gold pieces. Commodity lumber exotic. Unit size 50 pounds. Unit cost 26 gold pieces to 50 plus gold pieces. Commodity paints and dyes. Common. Unit size 1 pound. Unit costs one silver piece to one gold piece. 
commodities paints and dyes unusual commodity size unit size one pound unit cost two gold pieces to ten gold pieces commodities paints and dyes rare unit size one pound unit cost 11 gold pieces to 25 gold pieces commodities paint commodity paints and dyes exotic unit size one pound unit price 26 gold pieces to 50 plus gold pieces commodity perfume common unit size one ounce unit cost one silver piece to one gold piece commodity perfume unusual unit size one ounce unit cost two gold pieces to ten gold pieces commodity perfume rare Unit size 1 ounce. Unit cost 11 gold pieces to 25 gold pieces. Commodity perfume exotic. Unit size 1 ounce. Unit cost 26 gold pieces to 50 plus gold pieces. Commodity rugs and Tapestries, common, unit size 5 to 15 pounds, unit cost 1 gold piece to 5 gold pieces. Commodity rugs and tapestries, unusual, unit size 5 to 15 pounds, unit cost 6 gold pieces to 10 gold pieces. Commodity Rugs and tapestry, rare, unit size 5 to 15 pounds, unit price 11 gold pieces to 50 gold pieces. Commodities, commodity, rugs and tapestry, exotic, unit size 5 to 15 pounds, unit cost 51 gold pieces to 200 plus gold pieces. Gaming with Infamous, we are into online and tabletop role-playing games, multiplayer online battle arena games, strategy, relation games too. Check out some of our stuff on Facebook, Franklin County Internet Society. We also have videos on YouTube as well. Roger Hansen, Gaming with Infamous. Support us on Patreon. Check our podcast out too on any of these available platforms. Anchor, Breaker, Google Podcasts. Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Spotify. If you're enjoying the stream, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. We would love to hear feedback.